Hi everybody from my beautiful early morning in Freeside. I'm looking at this property today. It's called Arroyo. Arroyo. I really don't know how to pronounce that. 88. It's by Remco Verbeek. And I was at his um, Zeppelin home the other day and absolutely loved it. So I will be checking out all of them. They're so interesting. They're all completely different. Nothing's alike. So to get this place, uh, first thing you need to do a little dungeon and trust me when I say look out for traps because God I got so many limbs blown off it was ridiculous if I didn't have a whole bunch of food and stim packs and stuff with me um, I would have died multiple times so it starts off here in this alleyway and then it carries on up through here and it basically takes you through quite a long dungeon actually I've had a really nice evening playing the quest that goes with this place to get the key. It was great. So I highly recommend it, um, especially if it's something you haven't done before. The m mobs are quite interesting and I mean, at the end it's a bunch of rats, but you know, it keeps you on your toes. You you really kept wide awake when you're doing it. And God, don't ask me for a walkthrough of that dungeon because I am the worst, the actual worst at puzzles. I hate them with a passion. And so I have spent nearly all of my time trying to solve that. And um, I don't care, I'm going to tell you now, I toggle collision <laughs> to get through because I couldn't work it out because I am that dumb. Anyway, sure you won't have that problem. You end up coming into this place through the sewers, through the basement. And there are three mobs to kill inside once you gain access. Once you've got rid of them, it becomes your home. And it's a really curious, quirky place. It's, um, it's a museum, basically. It was a museum before the war um, of a very famous television character. And here he is, Gary International, private investigator. Terrific. So basically, you've made your home here. And isn't it jolly? Look at this. That is, oh, those windows, fabulous. I love the brickwork. This whole loft style really is very appealing. It looks so much bigger than it is. It's actually not a massive house at all, but it just feels big because of this huge lofty area that you've got here. Really like it. So, everywhere you go, you'll find these things, these activation plaques that tell you about Gary's world and his TV series and where everything in the home comes from as it pertains to that. Look at that actual daffodils. Wow. Fairy lights. You know that makes me happy. TV doesn't work. <laughs> Look at the views too. I mean, you know. Oh dear, it's sad, isn't it? It really is so sad. Move along, please. <laughs> Shut your face. He's so funny, I really like him a lot. He's grown on me exponentially. So we have a jukebox jangling away. Oh dear, one of the bodies is still here. Oh well. <laughs> Bathroom. All the usuals. These doors though, look at that. How nice is that door? I love, love, love that door. I wish my doors in my actual house looked like that. Really lovely. And in my kitchen, there's a stove where you can cook. Open consumables. Nice kitchen cupboards, very kind of uh, shabby chic French style, you know? I like it. Nice colour. There is stuff in the, um, well, I suppose that would have been a coal cabinet at one time. Look at that. Basket of fruit. Fresh pear and everything. And then you have an office. Knickknacks on the shelves. Ooh. Bonus. Bonus caps. Do 
There's also a... Look at the, that gun there. Loving. 0.44. It's all very in keeping, isn't it? Wow. Okay, well, let's have a look downstairs first. This is where you're going to come in. Oh, dear. <laughs> so this is the garage. Coke's in the machine. You also have... Well, I guess this would be the bodyguard's bedroom. You could use it for your follower. I'm guessing it was a utility room at one point. Look, another one of those garden gnomes. I don't know why they make me smile, they just do. I don't actually own one in real life. And look at, oh wow, when you go through the dungeon, when you first go down, and you'll know what I mean, you go down this big hole and you see these things, spooky as. It, uh, by that point, I was absolutely tiptoeing along because I had been blown up so often that those things look quite scary looming in the darkness. As you can see, bags of storage and reloading bench and all the things that you would hope for. Hmm. That's interesting. Can I get through there? Oh, right, okay. So that's how I came in. Fair enough. I've forgotten already because I was getting shot at the minute that I came in here. Oh, the outside world is creeping in, look, with my grass. Auto dock. Where were you an hour ago? <laughs> when I really needed you. So, yeah, it's got all of the usual things that you would hope. And a really nice-looking home to excuse the bodies. And... This is how you get out to Freeside. And then... Upstairs, you've got your loft bedroom. And there he is. Gary International, Shadow of the Golden Gringo. Does that say, oh my god. I can't even... This is a lovely feature, and the first time I've seen it so far. It's actual fish in that tank. How cool is that? I love all the artwork and the bits of colour everywhere. Got a, a chem thingy. Somewhere to store them. All this booze. Loads of booze. How nice. An intact garden gnome. There are various outfits, by the way. You can rob the bodies down there um, and take their outfits if you'd like them. But also, in here, more storage. Check that out. Change your haircut mirror. Action hero outfit. Okay, that, that sounds quite fun. <laughs> and... Suspicious radio, that's more like it. All of these guns, etc., that you see around, um, you can't pick these up. But that suit of armor you can, and bits and bobs down here too. Ballistic fist. What on earth? So, yeah, that is very fab and groovy. I like it a lot. Super trooper. I'm amazed I'm not actually overburdened. I have been, oh, constantly overburdened throughout this game. It's ridiculous. I really need to remember to hand it over to my followers, but I generally forget to do that. Okay, well, I think that covers just about everything. I'm going to leave you the view down there because I think it's gorgeous. I'll call that the end of this wee video. Thank you so much for watching. And I will be in touch very soon with the next one. I'm taking a few days off. Um, so please do take care and I'll see you when I get back.